This is Twit. So we got a we got another interesting question in Discord this time from Just Nick, and uh, he, he first jokes and says, "You know, this just wants me to start running my 512k RAM chips again," and then he says. That's actually an interesting thought. Could this be theoretically run or integrated on older hardware to make it new again, like Linux has done with software? I'm trying to, I'm trying to think through exactly how this would work. So the, the way I would imagine this is you take some old motherboard that you can't get a processor for, and you would spin up your own RISC-V processor and drop it in there. I, I think we're, we're kind of playing at the edges of what's practical, but I, I suppose you could do something like that, couldn't you? That would absolutely be possible. I think from a nostalgia standpoint, it would be a lot of fun. Uh, and it would certainly be, be feasible. Uh, the, uh, the, amount of, uh, the amount of things that we can produce now as, as just as, as hobbyists and makers, it's amazing what we can get done. So yeah, the idea of fabbing your own uh, processor was definitely not something that you would be able to do uh, 10 or 20 years ago. But today, that is definitely a reality. And assuming you have the pinout of the chip that you're trying to reproduce, uh, the ISA for RISC-V is open source, and you can take advantage of some of the chips that are some of the cores that have already been produced and simplify them down to your needs. It's funny, that's kind of going in the opposite direction that most people would take it. But uh, I can't imagine it would be easy, but it would certainly be easier than going in the direction of making it more complex. <laughs> yeah, and you know that's it, it's kind of interesting to think we see stories every once in a while, especially over on places like hackaday.com where you have guys that are attempting to do things like uh, chip manufacturing and lithography in their garage and some of these techniques are actually coming to the point of being, you know, I mean we're not nobody in their garage is approaching 5 nanometers. Um, but <laughs> you can start to replicate some of the old chip fab nodes and uh Boy, it's it's not actually totally infeasible that someone could literally make their own very simple Risk Five chips in their garage within the next few years. I would definitely say that if anyone is interested in or currently working on that, I would be more than happy to talk to them. <laughs> 